Okay, here's another example of evaluating. And these are, again, numerical expressions. And we're going to follow our order of operations. And we're, again, we're going to use pen DOS to help us out. And the first thing we check for are parentheses. And we do have parentheses here. So we're going to make one pass and we're going to do all the parentheses. So we've got four times, and this is what we call multiplication by juxtaposition because it's right next to it. we got a parenthesis, so it's obviously we're going to multiply, but when I'm going to change this to a number, I better put a dot here so I don't confuse myself with a rather, rather just a numeral because it's going to be four times whatever this is. And what's five minus three? Well, that's two, so that's going to be two squared. So I put a nice dot there to remind me. I've got a subtraction sign here. And I've got an addition sign way over here, so I'll just put those in so I don't forget. The next thing I'm going to do is in parentheses here. So it's 2 plus 4, 6. So this is going to be 6 squared divided by 9. And then over here, I've got 4 squared. And my parentheses is 6 minus 3, which is 3. So I'll just put a times 3. Oops, I forgot to give you the answer. Sorry if you did this. One. Probably looking for the answer to check your answer. And the answer for this one I got was 60. So if you got 60, you're probably okay. So I'm sorry, the answer was 60. Alright, so there's your answer. So I hope I got 60 too. Alright, so that's... If you got 60, then you're fine. You can go to the next problem. Otherwise, here we go. So excuse me. All right. Next thing we do is we do exponents. So 4 times, and what's 2 squared? 4 minus 6 squared is 36 divided by 9 plus, and what's 4 squared? 16 times 3. So we just do our exponents. Next thing we do are, is multiply and divide from left to right. So I've got multiplication and division, more multiplication. So what's 4 times 4? 16 minus, and what's 36 divided by 9? Well, 9 goes into 36 4 times. Plus, and what's 16 times 3? Well, 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 1 is 1. 4 plus, I'm sorry, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 carried over is 4, so it's 48. And we use 3 times 16 a lot, so hopefully you'll kind of remember that, so it's 48. So there's my, so I've done my parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division from left to right. Now I'll do add and subtract from left to right. What's 16 minus 4? That's 12. And 12 plus 48 is, well, 2 plus 8, 48 is 50, and another 10 makes 60. So there you go. So that was your answer. Okay, let's try number four. So this is number four, so you could write it down. And then give you time to write it down. You can always pause at any time. And then try the problem, make a good effort, and then I'll give you the answer. And this time I won't forget to give you the answer. And then we'll go through the solution if you didn't get the correct answer. So write it down now, pause, and try it. Okay, hopefully you paused it, or you're playing it back, and you already did it, and hopefully you got 28. So let's see how I got 28. If you didn't get 28. If you got 28, then you're in good shape. Great, you're going to do do good on our upcoming quiz. All right, so first of all, I'm going to work inside the parentheses. Now, this is interesting because remember, if we have PEMDAS, we work inside parentheses. Well, now we've got parentheses inside parentheses. So we've got this big bracket, which is an outside parentheses. So we've got to get one number in this big old parentheses. And we've got little parentheses in here. So really what you do is just concentrate on these things right here. All right? I try to get one number inside these parentheses here, then we'll multiply by 2. So we've got 2, bracket, and then all this. And we're just going to take care of parentheses first, PEMDAS, so I write, rewrite 2, excuse me, 2 cubed plus 2 times, and what's 8 minus 5? 
that's 3. So instead of writing 8 minus 5, I'll write 3. Just substitute that, and that's going to be squared. Minus 3 times, and what's 7 minus 5? That's going to be 2. So 2 squared. So we just did the parentheses inside the parentheses. I left myself a little room here. Sorry about that. So this is inside parentheses. 8 minus 5 is 3. 7 minus 5 is 2. So I've simplified inside the parentheses. Okay. And actually, I could probably close the parentheses over here a little closer. All right, the next thing we're going to do is exponents. So I've got 2. I've still got the bracket because I'm working inside here until I get one number. And what's 2 cubed? Well, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8, so I'm going to substitute that 8 instead of 2 cubed. There's my plus. And 2 times, and what's 3 squared? 9. Minus... 3 times, and what's 2 squared? 4. So here, get my bracket a little bit more symmetrical. So now we did our exponents. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 2 is 4. We don't do the multiplication or division if we had that yet. We're going to take care of this first. Okay, now we'll multiply or divide from left to right. And I just have multiplications in this one, but if I had a division... I had this divided by that, I could have done some division. So I've got 2 times, so I'll do my multiplication, 8 plus, and what's 2 times 9? 18 minus, what's 3 times 4? 12. So there we go. And finally, we're ready to add or subtract from left to right, so I've got 2 times, and what's 8 plus 18? Well, that's 26 minus 12. And then I can simplify that some more, so that's going to be 2 times. And then what's 26 minus 12? Well, that's going to be 14. And then finally, now I, I could actually just write this as 2 times 14 if I wanted. Or leave it like that, it means the same thing. So either, either way we're going to go 2 times 14, is that's going to be 28. Now you might see a problem like, like at this stage, or at this stage, or at this stage, or with the two in front. So these, you can see little simple problems, and these are more complicated, but you may see a problem that looks like any of these lines that starts out maybe here or here, and then you have to go on. So these are good reviews for all the techniques. All right, so you see we got our 28. Okay, I hope that makes sense.